I wanted to show you today how to fix these overlapping text boxes. Um, I actually did a little bit of rebuilding at the bottom of the page to put every single block of content into its own section, which should hopefully help with this, but sometimes it's still going to happen. It's just kind of quirky. And what is going on is that these um, galleries, let me resize this, they resize based on the person's window size. And so this should line up and kind of move in sync with that. But sometimes things get overlapped. Um, if new images are maybe added to the gallery or, uh, you know, sometimes Wix just has a bug and it overlaps things. So this whole page got overlapped probably because the first one did. And so it kind of just staggered on down. But I have made sure that all of these are now in their own um, section. So hopefully this should cure this problem once we've corrected it. But I wanted to show you before I was, I'm fixing it now, but I wanted to show you how I'm fixing it. And that's by clicking on it. And then you want to have this whole section selected. And then if you move your cursor kind of over that purple selection, you can pull this, use this little upward downward arrow tool. It's a drag handle and pull it down the page. And that'll make space for the um, the gallery so that it gets that text off of it. So I'm going through and doing this so it'll all be done. But if you ever see this again, look for this little arrows, find this section and um, adjust it accordingly. And once you have it fixed, it should hold steady until changes are made. But um, just keep an eye on it. And if you find that it's starting to overlap again, just go into the editor, navigate to this page and adjust it accordingly. Um, these are all now in sections they weren't before, so I think that might also help get these to move down as well. Um, but yeah, <laughs> if it doesn't fix it, which once in a while it wicks it, yeah, something goes off. If more pictures are added or changed, sometimes it can, it can stagger these things weird and you just got to go in and fix it. Um, the last step I also wanted to review was the mobile view. If you click here in the editor up at the top left, um, there's a little icon that looks like a phone. Uh, if you click there, that'll take you to this page on mobile. And it's basically the exact same page. It's just a line for vertical viewing. Um, and you can see, for example, here, there's a big gap. Um, I want to get rid of this gap. So I'm going to use that same purple upward downward arrow handle. I think it says adjust section height. Yeah. So and it, I have to kind of scroll with my mouse and pull it up. It's a little bit um, of a process, but you can also click on your toolbar here, which if it's not showing, you can turn it on here. Um, and I can put in a number here so I could say 500 and pull it up that way. So that's actually easier if you're doing what I just did, which is moving it quite a bit. Um, I was scrolling and, and kind of dragging it one screen at a time. Um, so use this little height tool to help fix that. Okay, here we go. Here's some more overlapping elements. So this was a floating image. And I think what we can do is put it between these texts. So I'm going to put this down here. Move this kind of centered. It'll also guide you with these little pink lines and green lines to tell you, oh, it's centered on the page. That's always nice. Uh, that looks good. And then the rest of these look good. So, but I'm glad I checked it. There is here a big gap. So let's see, where's this one's roughly at? We're going to see. Oops. Let me scroll down here. Uh, it's by height, but I could probably put in like, let's say 500. Let's see where that goes. Okay, that gets us to the bottom. Perfect. So there we have it. One other thing to note is these little icons. These are called anchors, and this is a spot on this page that it's sending people to. If you want to, I'm going to center this too since the other one's centered above it. <laughs> um, if you want people to go to this spot on the page, you want this anchor associated with that content. So in the desktop view, you'll see all of those here as well. They're, they're, uh, blue and this is sometimes where you get rid of the toolbar so you can see things better So this one I can rename it if I want, but it's it's being linked to from the top of the page. So the Solana Beach Eastern Gateway those are all being linked up here So you want to make sure they stay with the content. Um, sometimes I move them kind of up 
oops, if I can even grab this one, to have maybe this, the last row of pictures. That way they're just not on just the pictures. They're, they can read some of the text, but you can put it wherever you want. So um, this one's actually missing one, the Rios. I maybe left that behind here. So here's the fire station, the firewall, I think that's, so this one's right. Um, but this one, the Rios Trailhead, I'm gonna just call this, we can also link to sections, so um, sections are new, and I added these because I think they help it flow better. But anyway, I'm gonna call this one Rios Trailhead, and then we're gonna come up to the top here, and this is where these buttons are that are linked to those anchors. So you'll see here section or anchor. So it doesn't matter if it's an anchor or if it's a section, um, you can choose it here and say, I want this to go to this part of the page. And then it'll scroll the user down to that part of the page. 